How do? My name is Anna and welcome to my channel. I am basically a lover collector of all things makeup, dress up, and the like. And today I wanted to play around with this beauty. This is the Dollhouse Palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And if you want to see how I got this eye look and also my thoughts on the palette, then just keep watching. Yay! I have been loving everything that I've gotten from Blend Bunny. And so I am so excited to try this, their newest palette, The Dollhouse. And this says the Dollhouse 30 Neutral Glam Shades. It's got the shades on the back. So there's a mirror in this one. And there wasn't in the past palettes, I don't think. So that's kind of nice. I like that. Um, it's still very, like, thin. I think it's about the same size. Um, but here is the palette. It strikes me as very, here, I'll hold it up while I'm talking about it. It strikes me as like very feminine. Um, I'm curious to try those shimmers. The shimmers were super messy in the Surge palette. Wasn't my favorite formula. Um, but the mattes in both of the other palettes were amazing. And this one just, I don't know, it kind of has a softer look, but also with the deeper shades. So I guess let's let's start swatching. This might take a minute. <laughs> All right, so the first row is, and I'm gonna swatch this way. I think in the past, the, um, the palettes have been totally like arranged by, you know, this is a complete look here, this could be a complete look here. It's like suggestions. Obviously you don't have to like stick to that, but it is a very cohesive. I mean, you can see how the rows going down are just a complete a look um takes some of the guesswork out if you are a beginner actually if you're a beginner and you want to experiment with a lot of color and um trying more elaborate looks i do recommend the blend bunny formula i feel like it's really easy to work with and you get a lot of payoff um especially for the price these are not expensive i'm going to put the price right here, I don't remember what it is right now, but it's totally reasonable for what you're getting. And actually, I would definitely recommend this even over, um, you know, like a 30 pan color pan, color pan, color pop palette or whatever. Um, you know, some of those are fine, but I feel like the quality on this for just the like slightly higher price is just kind of better. And I think that the color stories are easier to work with for beginners. They're just so well thought out. They're so, so good. Um, okay. I'm going to start, I'm going to start swatching. So first we have, I'm going to fold that all the way back, which it does, which is nice. And we're going to go into mannequin. And that does not feel as messy and flaky as the Surge palette was. And then undress. Plastic. <laughs> I can't read these this way. Fasten. And marionette. And I'm just going to do all five fingers. Yeah, you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised so far with the shimmers they don't seem quite as messy um as as the surge palette shimmers all right so this is here we go mannequin Ooh, ooh, that is very pigmented all right and then undress That's a nice, like, kind of starting off shade. Wow, that is very skin tone. 
um, plastic. And fasten. And marionette. So far, just even in the swatching, I do like the shimmers better in this palette than the last one. Ooh, that is shimmery. I like that. Okay. Well, well, well. Interesting. I wonder if they did change the formula or not. All right. Well, so far, so good. So this next row is kind of more of a blue-purple row. And I think what I'll do is I'll take the swatches and then as I'm swatching them, tell you what they are. Like as I'm putting them on my arm. Actually, okay, so this cinched color feels a little bit more powdery than the rest of the mattes have so far. And I'm... I am so happy that these shimmers, ooh, that glass eyes, that's pretty. That's what those look like. All right, so move this. Um, so this is glass eyes. I like that. All right, hold me. No strings. Cinched. And imaginary. My thumb swatches are going to be bigger, <laughs> but it's just the fastest way to do it. Whoops. So that's that next row. I think we can fit five more. All right, this next row is like a very neutrally, oh, it looks so pretty. I am so excited that these, um, that this shimmer formula seems better than, than the last palette. Or just not as, yeah. I mean, I'll have to, you know, use them, but just, just from swatching, ooh, mm. Okay, again, the stitched, shade these darker ones feel a little bit more powdery um than the rest of the mattes to me interesting i like the feel of these shimmers so far that's great all right so this row is lace which i'm so glad this shade is in this palette it's like the perfect highlight just yeah mm. and then display these are very pretty neutral shades attic stitched and harlequin I think it is Harlequin. Ooh, that's pretty. Those are really beautiful um, neutral shades. This shade swatched like a little, whoops, a little bit patchy, but I mean, I'm not too worried about it, honestly. We'll see. We'll see it when I put it on the eyes. But yeah, ooh. This is a really great highlight shade. These shimmers are really impressing me, like a lot. All right, um, maybe we'll do the other swatches on the other arm and then we can show you the whole palette all together. So this next column is, again, pretty neutral. It's got a bit of a hint of sort of like a lavender tone in the two shimmers or like a purpley pink neutral a little bit warmer neutral than the last row mm, yeah those shimmers <gasps> oh, 
Ooh, ooh, this has a flip to it. It's got like, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, like kind of a magenta and then like a lighter pink in there. Maybe a little bit of lavender. Ooh, that's fun. That's like a kind of duochrome. That's, that's neat. All right, so that one is called Pretend. Ooh, it's very, very light. That is gonna be a topper for sure. Um, I wonder if I go in with a little more. Yeah, that is definitely a topper. It does not have a strong like base color to it. It's a topper shade. All right, and then pose. Vintage. Silhouette. and dress up. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with these um, like shimmery shades. So that's that row. Oh, beautiful colors. All right, and the next row is sort of the pinky mauve with that rich brown. Can't see what I'm pointing to. Whoops, this row. Here, there we go, this row. So this row, this next row is sort of the pinky mauve row with that rich brown. Mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because I wanna use every single shade that I've swatched so far basically. <laughs> um, again, that top shimmer looks like it's a bit of a duochrome. It sort of goes from gold to pink. That is very pretty and very exciting. All right, so this is Tool. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's very pretty. And then Baby Doll. Rouge, which does kind of look like a blush shade. Nice. And then Plume. Oh yeah, that, I love those like, you know, plummy browns. Mm, pretty. And then Little Sister. Ooh. All right. That's beautiful. I'm super digging that tool shade right, right there. Oh yeah, so pretty. And then this last row is sort of like the grungiest row. It's got those sort of green and coppery tones to it. <laughs> Again, this is a bit of a duochrome. I think it's kind of a copper to gold, not not as strong as the other ones, um, but but yeah, looking good. All right, so that one's called Pin Curls. Yeah, these. I'm glad that I think this shimmer formula is different. It feels different. It looks different. It's just so much less messy and less um, like chunky which I, I like better. I think it's a little easier to work with that way. Um, all right, and so this is porcelain. And figure. Oops, I just swatched that on top of the other one because it was so, <laughs> because it was so light. Okay. Um,
All right, we're gonna we're gonna start that part over. All right, let's try that again because I'm a big goober. Okay, all right, so this is porcelain, <laughs> and then figure. There we go, Madame. Ooh. Wow. And then Chantilly. Cute. Oh. Oh, yes. That is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. Well, I think these swatches sort of speak for themselves. I wonder if I can. There is no way. There we go. So this is every shade in the palette. This is so awkward. This is probably going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> but this is the whole palette. Um, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I like. All right. So those are the swatches. I'm going to clean off my arms because otherwise this will get everywhere. And then um, I'll just, I'll do a look with this and we'll just see what happens. Okay. So the only problem that I see with this palette so far is there's like so many options I don't know what to do because I want to use everything so that's not really a problem um but yeah uh, hmm I don't know what I want to do because I want to do everything well I guess I'm just gonna start just, just got to start somewhere. So with a fluffy brush, this is my Morphe. Five, oof, I can't see that. My Morphe 518. So with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in to Baby Doll. I'm going to go into Baby Doll. And do just a wash. Give me a mirror. There we go. Do a wash of color. I did not put shadow primer on. Well, this is going to be a test because I'm not going to do it now over that. All right. With a smaller fluffy brush. I'm going to go into, I'm gonna go like into different rows here. I can't decide to go into no strings now. Actually, no, I'm gonna go into attic. I want a little bit more neutral shade there. It's almost gray. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. It's just on a smaller brush. Yeah. And I just thought kind of these almost like candy looking shades would be interesting all together. So what I'm going to do is put glass eyes just all over the lid. That's pretty. That's fun. All right. And then I'm going to go into pretend. And place that right in the center there. I'm basically, yeah, making myself look like 
candy, which is not exactly doll themed, but. <laughs> and that gave it, you know, a little bit of that purple. And then I'm going to take a brush for this just because my finger is too big <laughs> and go into lace because I think I'm so glad this shade is in here. I just, I love when a palette just has that gleaming white shimmer. And I'm going to bring that a little bit onto the center of the lid. All right, I want to go very light on my lower lash line for this look. I think this is kind of a lighter, lighter look that I'm going for. So on a little tiny pencil brush, do I want to lean into the purple? No, I think we want more pinky tones here. So I'm going to go for Baby Doll. So I'm going to go for Baby Doll. Ooh. I'm going to go for a baby doll here and a little pencil brush and just do the whole lower lash line. I did get quite a bit of fallout from, from that blue shade, the glass eyes shade. I wonder if that'll brush off. Actually, not too bad. Got quite a bit of it. And with that same brush, I'm going to go into Rouge. And put that just kind of on the outer third, I think. I don't want to go too crazy. I want it to be pretty light. Yeah. And then actually, I think that's the shade that I'm going to put in my outer, outer corner, because I do need something there. So actually with that same pencil brush, I'm going to go into Plume. No, <laughs> Rouge, the later one. Cause like I said, I don't, I just don't want to go too dark with this today. And just going to put some pigment in that corner. That is all I'm going to do. And then take my little fluffy brush that I used before and just sort of, mm, okay, all right. And then I want to take, I'm going to take a fluffy brush so this isn't super intense, but I'm going to take this tool, which was the kind of gold, goldish pink. That looked so, so pretty. And I'm gonna put that on my brow bone, but like kind of a, you know what? I'm gonna put that across the whole thing. I want to see that shimmer. Ooh, okay. Yeah. This does blend incredibly well. Yeah, just kind of light and pretty. I, I'm gonna bring, <laughs> I just wanna add a little bit more of that lace shade here. 
in into my lower lash line a little bit more, just about a third. Yeah, that's blingy. That's pretty. And then um, go back into this pretend, and this was that super ethereal, you know, light shade without such a pigmented base. And I'm going to put that right, and that was what was um, in the center of the lid up here. And then I'm also going to put it in the center on the bottom. All right, I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging it. I'm going to finish my other eye, the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, well, this is the final look, and I have to say, I really like it. I had to, here. I had to um, pink up my blush, if you will. Like, I, I definitely, like, and I tried a couple until it got, and I could even go, like, a little pinker, but I love this. It's kind of cotton candy, whatever. I have to say, Blend Bunny just nails it. I, and it's even better than the last one. Like, I would say, um, I like this one better than the Surge palette. Um, I love, it's so, it's like soft colors, but it's pigmented soft colors. If that makes sense, it's like, you can actually see them on the eye. I mean, it's just beautiful. Look at the sheen. And then on my eyes, yeah, I am digging this. This is so beautiful. Um, I got like a little bit of fallout from this one, but actually on the other eye, it wasn't as bad. So I think part of that was just the application. Um, they are a little bit messy, the shimmers are, but they're not near as messy as um, the Surge palette. And yeah, the texture, I like the texture better. I Maybe I'm crazy, but I think it's, a little bit different formula and I like it a lot better like I I have to say I highly recommend this palette I love it I absolutely love it I think if you're a beginner I think it is so easy to work with in so many ways you know you have um, a formula that's super easy to work with I mean it it was effortless completely effortless this look effortless I barely blended it just kind of put it on my face and I wasn't even wearing eye primer I don't know about the la how it'll last or anything. Um, that'll be yet to tell, but also, um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't had any issues with Blend Bunny palettes not lasting. Okay, I had to interject here because it is now almost, it's like 9.40 p.m. And I just wanna show you, even without eye primer, That has stayed on pretty dang well. I feel like it's maybe, maybe faded like just a tiny bit, but I really don't see any creasing or like moving around. Like it hasn't budged. Like my mascara has fallen all over my face and made my eyes look messy, but the actual eyeshadow looks so good. So that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is gorgeous. I lost my train of thought. Okay. <laughs> the other thing that I like about this is it's laid out so well as far as it's so easy to conceive of a look, you know, it's like they just give you instructions, just go down, you know, if you want a super simple look, like boom, boom, boom. Or like, if you want to do a little bit more complicated, do all five or, you know, any column here. Um, if you want to do an all matte look, you have, you know, like this right here or this right here, or this right here. I mean, it's so, it's just so effortless and I love that. Um, and the colors are beautiful. I just think it was so well thought out. I love it. Yeah, this is a good one. I have to say, I definitely recommend this one and I think it's going to be, I think it's probably gonna be a favorite. I mean, this is my first impression. Okay, I get it. I get very excited about new things, but this is really good and was really easy to work with. So if you like this color story, um, I say go for it. Like this is definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. 
And if you're a more advanced, you know, makeup um, artist, I mean, you have a lot to choose from here. And the formula is amazing. So there's that. I think, I think this is a great palette, honestly, for any level. Really, it's so good. I keep looking at it in the monitor. <laughs> but no, it is. It's, it's brilliant. I love it. Blend Bunny has done it again. I highly recommend this palette. And that is what I'm going to say about it. Love the look that I got today. Okay, so I did say one more thing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Become part of this wonderful community. Oh my gosh, my subscribers, you are wonderful. You are so sweet and kind and fun. And I love hearing about your makeup and what you've been liking. And yeah, thank you so much. So I hope you're having a great day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.